really Microsoft, this is the quality of code we can expect from you. A lot of people are experiencing the black screen on Microsoft Flight Simulator startup like this. Um, this is one of the fixes. Um, I'm gonna close Flight Sim. Now, what happened was I changed my monitors. And if you look under here to open sound settings, I changed my monitors and these monitors don't have speakers. When I installed Flight Sim, I was on the NVIDIA uh, audio output. Um, because now these have no speakers and I didn't want to use them anyway, I've plugged in a proper set of speakers into the sound card. If you change your audio device output, Flight Sim bombs out in some absolute crap Windows 95 blue screen of death IRQ level crapness. So you have to go back to whatever audio driver you had. Um, I'm guessing when you installed Flight Sim, although a reinstall hasn't fixed the problem. So now I've gone back to the M NVIDIA, even though these monitors have no sound output. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire up Flight Sim. Okay, so I'm going to click on there. That's going to appear over there. Um, and do, 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 do. Mics off Flight Sim. will now start as normal. Now, I have to get to the main screen before I can switch the audio device back to the real tech driver and get functioning audio. I don't know what's causing this, I don't really care, but it's just shite. Um, it's, it's just so amateur, but it is what it is and hopefully this video will kick someone in Microsoft to sorting this out because it seems to be affecting quite a few people when they change their audio settings for whatever reason and they get a blue screen. So what I'm, I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the main screen. Once the main screen um, starts up, it's relatively safe to bounce back to um, the actual audio driver you want. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back now on the main screen to my audio drivers. I'm going to set to the real tech and you can now just about hear the music in the background, the volume's pretty low on the actual amp. So pff, who knows well, whether they'll fix it how it got there in the first place, what the level of QA this stuff goes through, because I just, it's seriously, I've got 25 years in IT, it's 2020, sort it out people.